Hey everyone, my name is Dana. You probably came here from my hair growth time lapse video. If you're wondering how I edited that video so you can create your own, keep on watching. And thank you to this person for requesting this video. Now, let's take a look at the pictures. Oh, wrong one. Not again. <laughs> Once I have my image, I will drag it into Photoshop. I crop out most of the background with that rectangular tool. You'll have to rasterize your pictures if you want to delete a portion of it. So right click in the layers panel, press rasterize layer, and then you can delete using your keyboard. Next, I use the quick selection tool to get the background that is surrounding me. When I have everything that I want selected, I will go into Select and Mask and use the sliders to shift the edge away from myself. This creates a smoother transition between me and the background. Now the rest of the background can be deleted. Since the edges were shifted, you'll have to reselect the perimeter into your selection and then press Delete. By changing the opacity, I can compare this picture with the very first one, and then I can align either the front of my face, or if my ear is showing, I will use that as a guide. Then I adjust the brightness and the contrast, applying it only to this image using a clipping mask so that any background that was peeking through my hair matches better with the new background. Because my hair is so dark, I will go into Image Adjustments, Shadows and Highlights, and brighten up those shadows just so you can see more of my hair. To turn these pictures into a video, I used Adobe Premiere Pro. To create a sequence like at the beginning and end of my first year time lapse, what you're gonna do is create a folder with all the pictures, naming them in consecutive order. Back in Premiere Pro, go to File, Import, and find that folder with the sequence. Click on the first image, and right above the file name, you will see a checkbox that says Image Sequence. Turn that on. Open and drag your sequence onto your timeline, and then adjust the speed depending on how fast or slow. Or if you want it in reverse, you can check that box. For the rest of the video, I just dragged the pictures into the timeline, adjusted their speed, and then applied the default transition so that they would fade into each other. I will link the tutorial I use to export my video in HD down in the description. You're the star. You're the star of the show.